Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Awaken the Wonder. I am your host, Caleb Wampler, and I am so glad you've joined us for today's episode. This is going to be a very special episode. Uh, we have, uh, I, it's been, we've been hearing a lot of things all around the world of what uh, people are going through and the things that people are trying to believe God for. There's been some shaking happening uh, in the economy, financially, jobs. Uh, I'm hearing this theme constantly of people trying to believe God for things that they received as a promise, that they believed long ago, but that right now seem like they're impossible. But I want to encourage you that every place you set your foot, that God will give it to you in Jesus' name. And as far as you can visually see in front of you, uh, and that includes your imagination, by the way, uh, that is what God wants to do for you and then some, because he's a God that's bigger than our imagination. If you're watching today, I want to encourage you right off the top, like, subscribe, leave a rating, do something to remember what God has done in this video and to leave a notification for yourself. And I encourage you, if you're listening today, to join the YouTube experience. You're going to have a very full, full display in this uh, background of what God is doing here. And uh, I know it's going to really bless your heart in the name of Jesus. So um, I'm excited today to take you to uh, to the state of California and to the state of Washington for a place of a miracle where a man was healed of a rotator cuff injury, and he was completely healed on the spot, and God instantly touched him. It was a powerful miracle. You're going to get to see his story, uh, this miracle story. But then also, uh, we're going to be going over to the state of California. Now, in this amazing video, you're going to see the countryside of the oceans, the mountains, the valleys, the woods and forests. You're going to get to see the display of pretty much every type of place that was before uh, that was before essentially a person like Joshua in the Bible. Joshua looked out to as far to the east is from the west, the north to the south, and God promised him everywhere. And we're going to get to hear a little bit of that story and how God promised him everything that was before him. And friends, uh, when I was there on that mountain, I begin to visually see and imagine what Joshua must have looked uh, looked at and what he visualized and what he began to see was possible and realized that all that land, God had promised it to him. What does God promise to you? He can do it for you just the same. Let's go to the state of Washington into the state of California, and let's journey through the story of Joshua. Hey everybody, Evangelist Caleb Wampler coming to you here from the state of California. I'm here in the Muir Woods and we're ministering this weekend in Oakland and San Francisco and just seeing an amazing move of the Spirit in the services. Thank you so much for sending us to these wonderful places. Now I wanted to tell you about an amazing miracle that took place in the state of Washington and this gentleman was that was healed was one of the worship leaders at the church and when he received his healing uh, he actually felt this power surged through his body. Now, friend, he couldn't lift his shoulder past this point for 10 years. Are you kidding me? 10 years. But his rotator cuff was immediately and instantaneously was able to move his shoulder above his head. And he began to rotate it immediately coming onto the platform. And he started to serve right away. It was an amazing and powerful move of the Holy Ghost in here in Puyallup, Washington. Now, friends, I want you today to take a step of faith to see what God might want to do in your life. Stay tuned for the devotional that's to come from the beautiful Muir Woods.
Hey everybody, Evangelist Caleb Wampler coming to you here from the countryside of San Francisco, California. And I'm out here at Muir Woods, and this is a famous landmark here in the area. Some of the most beautiful trees all around the nation and even the world. Uh, over in this area, there is a lot of people that have gathered here on this Saturday afternoon for a tourist day. But uh, we are here actually to just come and admire the beauty of what this area is, is and the creation God has done here. What's absolutely stunning in this vicinity is that you can see mountain, valley, ocean. Uh, you can see uh, every possible type of view from this area. And as I was here reflecting with the Lord and just praying for just a moment, I quickly felt a scripture drop into my heart. And I believe this is going to be an incredible blessing to you. So let's open up to Joshua chapter 1. And it says, starting in verse 1, After the death of Moses, the Lord's servant, the Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant. He said, Moses, my servant is dead. Therefore, the time has come for you to lead these people, the Israelites, across the Jordan River into the land that I am giving them. I promise you what I promised Moses. Wherever you set your foot, you will be on land I have given you. From the Negev wilderness in the south to the Lebanon mountains in the north, from the Euphrates River in the east to the Mediterranean Sea in the west, including all of the land of the Hittites. No one will be able to stand against you for as long as you live, for I will be with you as I was with Moses. I will not fail you or abandon you. Be strong and courageous, for you are the one who will lead these people to possess all of the land that I swore to their ancestors that I would give them. Be strong and very courageous and be careful to obey all of the instructions Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them, turning either to the left or the right. Then you will be successful in everything that you do. Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night, so you will be sure to obey everything that is written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Now, the beautiful thing about this passage is that he points to all of the surrounding areas in the regions on the other side of the river. He says that I have given you all of this land, and what's fascinating is that it was every type of possible terrain that there was. Many of you are facing challenges today that you're going through and you're not quite sure what it is that you're going to do. But I love how it says in the book of Job, as it says this, chapter 22, 28. You will also declare a thing, and it will be established for you, so light will shine on all your ways. The Lord spoke to Job and revealed this beautiful passage to him that we, if we would declare a thing, that it would be established in the light of heaven, my friends, would shine upon you. I'm here standing on the top of this beautiful mountain and the light is shining all around and nothing is hidden from it. Every tree, every part of the sea, every part of the ocean and the valleys all around are covered by the light that is shining directly upon it by the Father of heavenly lights. This is an absolutely beautiful description and depiction that I can see every type of terrain here in this area. And friends, so it shall be with you. You may not understand what it is that you're facing right now. And you just need to get God's perspective on it. Down on the ground, I can't possibly see, and even as I was driving with my team up the mountains, I was able to see uh, just the winding roads and it felt like it would never end. And comments were in the car, oh, I think we're getting a little car sick. And it kind of felt like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? But now, friends, we are here, and we can actually see the whole perspective of the whole mountain, and it's stunning, and it was so worth the wait, even the hike to get up here, carrying our equipment to take this, uh, take this beautiful imagery that you're seeing. This is just an example, friends, that if you will gain God's perspective on a situation, friends, and you will declare to that mountain, declare to that valley, declare to that river, declare to that sea, that this is the land that God has given me, friends, you will prosper in everything that you do. I hope that you will get this thing in your spirit today to declare to whatever it is that is being faced in front of you that you will succeed if you will get the hand of the Lord and the mind of the Lord on the matter. 
Joshua took over for a legend of the faith, Moses. And, and, and it can be so terrifying sometimes when people pass away before us or fear strikes our hearts when suddenly our leadership is swarmed, when things aren't the way that they used to be, when viruses come and take, uh, take things out that we weren't expecting to be taken out, when job losses come and pain comes and loss comes and health crises come and we don't know what it is that we're supposed to do anymore, friends. But this is just a small taste and a small example that even so, friends, there is another side to that river that is standing in front of you. And even if it is at flood stage, my friends, just as it was with Joshua, you will pass through that river in Jesus' name and everything that you can see in front of you is yours in the name of Jesus. I don't care what enemy is standing there. I don't care what giant is standing there. I don't care what army is standing there. I don't care what family member, friend, relative, enemy has stood against you, friends. You will prosper if you will take that word and declare it forth and walk in it in Jesus' name. I, I love what he says to Joshua. It doesn't matter what the terrain is. Friends, it doesn't matter what your terrain is. It's all under God's light that is shining down upon all of us today. We just have to seize the land, seize the word, and run boldly after where it is that God has for us. I bless you guys today and honor you. This is Evangelist Caleb Wampler coming to you from the Muir Woods here in San Francisco, California. God bless you guys. Go in favor in Jesus' name. I hope that you're blessed today. I hope you're encouraged. I hope that you're challenged. And I hope that you believe. Believe what? Believe that what God has said he will do in your life, that it can happen and it will happen in Jesus' name. But that thing that you're thinking about right now, it's great. It, I, I don't, I don't want to lessen it. It's fantastic. Believe for it. But I want you to take a step beyond that right now. To think even further than that thing you're thinking about right now. What if there was a cherry on top of that thing and it could be even more? What if that was times 10 or times 100 or times 1,000? That's what God is capable of in your situation. I want to encourage you to believe him for it right now. And Father, I thank you for every person that's watching right now. I come into agreement right now in the name of Jesus over what they're going through over what they're believing for. And Lord, I ask that you would bring it to pass and then astound them beyond their imagination now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Friends, thanks for joining us today on Awaken the Wonder. This episode, I pray, has encouraged you and blessed you. If you have things you're believing God for, leave them in the comments. Share your prayer requests. We want to know what you're believing for. If something has challenged you in this teaching, Leave it in the comments. Write a comment. Write a verse. Leave something to show us what's speaking to you today. I bless you and I honor you today. I can't wait to see you at the same time next week. God bless.